is prepared and is waiting for you to attack them. We should gather our forces and suppress the upheaval in Qi. Then go back and fight them at full power. Your Majesty? Your Majesty? To Qi. Mr. Fan must be blaming me for letting those traitors go at home gate. But I don't regret it. Liu Bong is despicable. He's meant to be looked down upon. Come, Chu Chi. Have a seat. Uh, so what if he has a larger army? My soldiers are fierce and valiant heroes, while his are insignificant insects. This isn't like the Battle of Julu. It'd be very hard to outdo that victory. <laughs> Is that so? My king. Are you going to fight them with a small force? Mr. Fan's worries are not unfounded. He's always been a cautious man. But whatever he can think of, that Halbert Guard, Hanshin, can also think of. This is a critical situation. But it's not my crisis. It's Liu Bong's. Soon his neck will meet the blade of my sword. So Chu Chi, let us be the man who destroys his dreams. Let's make him suffer until he begs for death. Here, a toast to victory. Your Majesty, drink, because we shall soon leave. Guards, my armor. Your Majesty, please. Your Majesty, I really think we should wait for Generals Long Zhu and Zhang Limei. We can afford to wait until we've all joined forces. There's no time. Your Majesty, you can't do this. We have less than 5,000 men! We will all die! This is madness! This will drive Liu Bang mad. Fly my banner and rally our soldiers. We're taking all our men. If they're under another general, order them to join us. Let's go. We must not delay. Your Majesty! I do not fear death. But my king, you must not die.
to our scouts, based on the speed at which they're traveling. They'll be here in a day. And what of the Han army? The Han army's heading towards the plains. It looks like they'll be done with their defenses by tomorrow morning at the latest. If that's the case, I'm afraid even King Shang will find it challenging. Hunshin has stationed his forces to the west of Bung Chung in great numbers. I'm afraid. Ying Shang is no match for me. Yes, sir. You'd rather die than take back your words. If you're right, then I'll apologize to you. But if you're wrong, then go ahead and behead me! Wait! Brother, General Jibu may not have handled the matter well. But he did it all for your sake. He mustn't be put to death. Your Majesty, General Jibu may be brazen, but he's a valiant warrior. I hope you can give him a chance to make up for his offense. We should fight together, Jibu, my good friend. You're my most valiant warrior. Will you fight with me as a soldier in the military? I've been waiting for this moment to come. My king, to fight at your side. affect your decision. Have I been acting on emotion? What I mean is, you should go to the King of Han and apologize for your rude behavior and show him your gratitude. Why are you bringing this up? Even if you win the war, if he relieves you of your post, or even has you beheaded, then what's the point of this? There's no point. The only thing that makes me happy is leading soldiers. There are so many strategies in my head that I want to apply in battle. If the King takes that away, then there's no point. He might as well behead me! Commander-in-Chief, you should learn how to win the King's favor! Huh. Who said you could sit here? You're a chicken and I'm a duck. It's making my headache. Huh. So... That only means you couldn't understand what I was talking about. You truly are an ignorant man. You... Strange old man. Then, do you think you could kindly tell this strange old man why you're hesitating right now? Who says I'm hesitating? Then why are you still lying there? Get on your feet! I don't want to! <sighs> it's a very quiet night. Eerily so. I'm surprised. So you do know fear. Right before I left the city, Shang Liang said something that I still don't understand. That Han Shin really knows how to exaggerate. He 
said that Shang Ye and his army will be coming to attack Pang Chang in five days. Don't you think that's nonsense? Yes, it's true that he'll never let this slide. But still, in just five days? <laughs> if General Han happens to be right, and Shang Ye's army really does reach Pang Chang in five days, then the lay of the land in Pang Chang is something we should be worried about. And why is that? How can we defeat Shang Ye's troops in his own land? Don't worry about that. First of all, we have 500,000 soldiers in our camp. We can easily defeat him. And second, forget about five days. Even if Shang Ye had wings, he wouldn't get here in 20 days. It's 560,000. Your Majesty, when the battle begins, will these 500,000 men follow you and fight for you? Also, as you well know, they are little more than disorderly bandits. Once they are attacked by Shang Ye's valiant soldiers, they'll scatter from the battlefield like terrified birds. Lastly, I'm sad to say our soldiers entirely lack discipline and cannot work as one. If they go up against Shang Ye's soldiers, how could they possibly win? Do not bring that up again! My soldiers have followed me all this way! What could be wrong with letting them relax? Let them eat, drink, and be merry! What harm can that do? But my king, we should prepare before the storm hits. Fine! What should we do then? Our priority should be to preserve our strength by using what we have wisely. We should gather our forces and send them over. To be deployed by General Han Shen. Excuse me? He gets more soldiers? With 20,000, he stands almost equal to me. If I give him any more, he'll proclaim himself the king. My lord, I must say this, even though I think you're not going to like it. Han Shin is your commander-in-chief. If you can't handle him properly, it might put you in great danger. Your men followed and trusted you all the way from Mangdong Mountain to here. Why is that? It's because you've won their loyalty. You brought out their strengths and forgave their faults. You should treat Han Shen the same way you did your men. Yeah. Why can't you understand, Shang Liang? Han Shen... Han Shen was a common soldier that I made into commander-in-chief. How much more trust can I give him? I gave him military power! And after that, he dares criticize me? Is that fair? He doesn't know his place! But my lord, what Han Shin said is not unreasonable. Besides, he was thinking for a common good. Do not... mention him to me again. And as for giving him more men... something wrong, please forgive me. Please open the door. I won't do anything. I just want to see you, that's all. Please. Come back. <laughs> My king, I have a question for you. Yes? set up camp outside the city and is preparing for battle. Is this true? Oh, you mean that childish general? He's making such a big fuss over nothing. Let is me it true or not? Yes, my dear. It's true. And the other generals? Well, the others... 
Oh, they're eating and drinking their fill. And enjoying their women. But I didn't. I swear I didn't. Pack up all your things. Don't let anyone see you. Why do you always do this to me? Why do you always ask me to start packing all of a sudden? Don't ask questions you shouldn't ask. I really don't understand. Didn't we come to an agreement before coming here? I mean, King Shang wanted to behead me, but he wasn't able to. The King of Han can behead me, but I'm almost certain he never will. Now everything's going as we expected. So why do we have to pack up and leave again so suddenly, darling? <laughs> Dearest! <laughs> do I need to repeat myself? Uh, of course not, my dear. I've asked all the subordinates to come. Aren't they here yet? They've all been informed. Why aren't they here? I heard half of them are busy with women. I haven't seen them at all. The rest have passed out drunk and are snoring. No one is coming? Well, some are coming. Who? Chen Yu. <laughs> you won't be of any use. There's someone else. Who? Chang Er. Are you an idiot? I gave Chang Er's head to Chan Yu, remember? How could I explain it if they meet? My lord, this is bad. What should we do now? You're gonna get us all in big trouble. Hurry, hurry! Stop them from coming! Uh, understood. At any cost! I'll stop them, my lord! No matter what, do not let them meet! Yes, my lord! My lord! Stop my lord! Luan! My lord! Luan! Come on, let's hey, go! Luan! Back. I'm coming! King of Changshan, I'm here. King of Changshan, where are you going? It's early. Luan, the King of Han wanted me to meet him. Why did you bring me here? What if I'm late to my meeting with the King? <laughs> you don't have to worry about that. The King of Han gave me new orders. He said he has something important to do tonight. That's why he told me to look after you. <laughs> the King is busy. Why did he summon me in the first place? Anyway, since I'm here, why did you put me up in a brothel like this? Are you perhaps trying to offend me, Luan? No, of course not. Please don't misunderstand. That is not my intention. I see. All right. I won't make it hard for you. However, could you ask them to bring me some good meat and wine? All right. Please wait here. All right. <laughs> the food's here! King of Changshan, the... Where is he? My lord, he left the moment you stepped out. Oh no! This is bad! Come on, brother. Thank Drink. You. King of Han, I came to express my sincerest gratitude. If Chang Er were alive, I don't think I'd be able to sleep well. <laughs> he did me a great favor. By all rights, I should be the one treating you. But since this is your territory, I'll accept your hospitality. Cheers. <laughs> The King of Han is drinking. King of Changshan, wait for me. Don't Please, stop King me. of Changshan. King of Han, forgive me for being late. Chang Er, Chen Yu, I'll kill you. Are you a man? Please stop. I'm going to kill you. Stop. 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 King of Changshan, yeah. please. I think it's time to put this matter to rest. Sit down. Go on. Sit down. Sit down. Yeah. Sit down. Yeah. Chen Yu. You regard Chang Er as your brother, right? In the past. But not anymore! <laughs> you will again. I treat Chang Er as my brother, the same way I treat you, Chen Yu. How can I kill Chang Er? There's no way. Chang Er, 
Let me explain something. Chan Yu said he wanted your head. But it's not like he really wanted you dead. You just did something that made him very angry. We endured both cold and hunger. Fought battle after battle. What was all that hardship for? Was it for a patch of land? Is a patch of land worth fighting for? We want the whole world! Am I right? I don't want to see you two fighting over something so petty. What we should be doing now is uniting to attack Chu! That's what's most important! Zhang er, Chen Yu, if you still see me as a brother, I hope you two can let bygones be bygones. If you insist on continuing your dispute, then fine. I'll give up on you. We can each go our own way. However, if either of you intend to join me in defeating Shang Yu, then I hope you'll listen to me. To begin with, Chen Yu, about your fief that was Chang Er's, you don't have to return it. Starting today, it's all yours. Is that acceptable? King of Han! Is that all right? And now, Chang Er, we're sworn brothers. I won't be unfair to you. I have some land out in Hane. Chao Ha's been managing it, and he's managed it well. The land is very fertile. It's lush with greenery. From now on, that patch of land is yours. Is that acceptable? King of Han! Will it do? <laughs> Tell me if it would do. Speak your mind. <laughs> so is everything settled? What kind of deep-seated hatred is there between the two of you? Let me tell you now. When we finally withdraw from Pang Chang, we'll return to our own fiefs. I won't ever bring up what happened in here today. Agree? And we can go on together. But if you don't... I'm afraid from now on, we cannot be brothers anymore. All right, all right. Let us drink, so that we may bury the past and start anew. We are still sworn brothers. Drink! Now I asked you here today, not only to settle this matter, but also because we have a problem with our soldiers. They all lack discipline. I gathered you here so that we may discuss this. Please speak. I'd like to hear your ideas. Why is there no one on the streets? Well, since the subordinates have been constantly fighting, the people do not dare walk the streets. It cannot go on like this. Your Majesty! Your Majesty, we saw two soldiers, ten Li East. But how's that possible? They're already in formation and ready to attack. They're general. They're likely Fan Chang's men. But that can't be. Fan Chang wouldn't dare attack us without Shang Ye's orders. Right. How many? I'm not sure, but their banners are enough to block the sun. All right. Lead all our soldiers outside the city. Hand them over to Han Shin to command. Understood. Why are we giving them to him? What the hell do you know? Let's go back and discuss this with everyone. Move. Hey, hey, that Liu Ji is really a foolish man. Seriously. How can he do something so stupid? <laughs> it's completely ridiculous. <laughs> In the history of man, nobody has ever done anything like this. Hey, my dear wife, if you want to laugh, just laugh. Don't try to hold it in. I was laughing at you. Uh, well, did I say anything wrong? Uh, I'm sure I didn't. I'm not He's wrong this time. He's embarrassed himself, but he's quick to admit his mistake. And willingly gave his own land away. He's no ordinary man. You're not talking about me, are you? 
I can't even imagine how he can stand bowing down to that arrogant Han Shin. What a complicated man. Wait! That man's definitely not me. Ah, uh, my dear, my dear! Tell me who you were talking about. Are you already done packing? Not yet. You should hurry up then. Right. Let's go. Oops, wrong room. Setting up our defenses comes first. The King of Head has given you great honor. You should show him your gratitude. Well, the Commander in Chief is right. Any delay in setting up our defenses could lead to defeat. I'm sure the King would understand. General Fan, have all your men left the city? They're on their way here. They'll be in camp by tomorrow afternoon. They should arrive tonight. Now hurry, get them destroyed, and send out our scouts to observe the Chu army. Yes, sir. Victory. 
undefeatable soldiers. It's like the Hawaii River. When the crickets begin to sing, it begins to flow. But each time a battle lands, and fresh blood turns to ground red, everything changes. The river... Brother, our front lines have reported that they've seen Han soldiers on both sides of the valley. Very good. Have they discovered us? <laughs> no, not yet. Be the drums. Brother, do we really have to attack in this kind of terrain, even if the Han army gives up on ambushing us? We may not be able to defeat them. Do as I say. Understood. The King's orders! Beat the drums! men. Go around the valley. Go on the right side and attack them from the west. Remember, don't be reckless, but be as loud as you can. Try to get the attention of those on the plains. Understood! Chu Chi, take 15,000 men and protect Jibu's flank. Brother, what's your plan to defeat them? They're guarding Pangchang very tightly, except for the east side. The east? The road there is rugged and steep. Even our soldiers will find it hard to advance. Tanshin will think so too. It's not a place to deploy a big army. But I don't need a big army. I'll just take the cavalry left in the camp. Brother, you mean... <laughs> this is madness. Your Majesty, it's too dangerous. There's just no way. He's right, brother. I've never seen such a move in the art of war. The art of war comes from experience. I'll have to leave Hanshin to you too. <laughs> just this once. Let's fight a crazy battle. Great! Understood! Understood. fighting Han Shen on the Western Plains, but until now, there has been no sign of King Shang at all. Yes, it is strange. Where is King Shang? No one seems to know. Hmm. Impossible, it can't be. What he's trying to do may lead to his death. Prime Minister, what do you mean by that? Oh. You bring some cavalry and cut into Han Shen's side. Create confusion. Try to lead Han Shen away from Pang Chang. The farther, the better. <sighs> but isn't King Shang attacking from the north? Common strategy says what we should do is launch a converging attack coming from the south. No, no. That Han Shen is no ordinary general. He's aware that our troops are stationed in Chao Jin. He'll have traps set up in both the north and south. Remember, you must agitate him. Now hurry! Understood! King Shang, King Shang, what are you doing? Why must you attack from the east? Where it's hardest to deploy troops, I can't make sense of it. This time... You'll have to rely on my intuition. I hope my hunch is correct. Guard! Yes! Prime Minister! All soldiers in Xiaojian are to ignore the city's defenders and attack Bangcheng's south gate! Understood! You have begun their attack on Pang Chum, as of the moment they're battling our city guards. Good. Yes, sir! You've drunk three pots of wine. 
your tongue waggles, and now we even have a fondness for the bottle. <laughs> you have a fondness for war, right? When a battle's about to begin, you get all happy. You become excited. But I cannot be happy. I can only drink wine. Only wine. And why can't you be happy? I'm asking you. Why can't you be happy, old man? <laughs> well, to be honest, this is my first time being in a battle. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> <laughs> you keep bragging about your worldliness, but you fear war? <laughs> hey, I'm not afraid. I'm just nervous. <laughs> yes, yes, right. You're not afraid. You're nervous. <laughs> Don't be nervous. Just sit and wait for my victory. <laughs> oh, so you're confident that you win? The Chu army will be defeated before dawn. All right. Then, let's drink to your upcoming victory. A toast. It's empty? There's no more wine? <laughs> Guards, bring us wine! <laughs> bring us wine! <laughs> Thank you. 